Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lindsay and I am Boy Mom Loves to Save. I'm a cash budgeter, so I use the cash envelope system to cash stuff my bills, my debt, my sinking funds, and my savings challenges. All of my savings challenge money is going straight to my debt because I'm currently working on the snowball method to paying off all my credit card debt. So if that is something you're interested in, I'd love for you to stick around. So today I'm going to be cash stuffing just my bills and my debt. So I have several new followers and typically I do a video of my bills, my debt, and my sinking funds. My husband and I are both employed full time. We get paid weekly. His job is a union and they just came off of a strike. He is back to work, which I'm thankful for, but we're kind of in this limbo because he is supposed to be getting his first paycheck tomorrow. He says it's supposed to be for a full week, but for some reason I was thinking it wasn't. So I do not want to cash stuff my sinking funds until I see what goes into his bank account tomorrow. And I probably won't be able to film tomorrow because he works four days on, four days off, 12 hour shifts, and I work Monday through Friday. So he's been off, he's off Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday, he's off Thursday, but he needs to sleep Friday. He needs to stay up late tomorrow night, sleep all day Friday because then he goes to night shift. He does a month of days, month of nights. So our my sister-in-law is going to keep our little boys overnight so that they can watch them Friday for us. And because we just haven't had a break, he said that he wants to go out to dinner. We do have gift cards for several different restaurants and I know him he loves Texas Roadhouse and so that's probably we're gonna where we're gonna end up and we have gift cards for that so we won't be spending any money for that so I don't know I don't know if I'm just gonna skip sinking funds this week and just do double next week I don't know what's gonna happen because we have some bills that are coming out of his bank account tomorrow anyways a long explanation I just don't know how it's gonna go so I wanted to get for sure my bills and my debt stuffed and then if he doesn't get a full paycheck then the money that is in my bank account I'm going to transfer over to his bank account because I do not want to touch savings we've been working hard on it I don't want to touch it so I'm just kind of seeing how it goes so anyways today I am cash stuffing what is it $930 let's get this out of the way and I've just kind of been in a little rut I'd say. <laughs> My sister-in-law and her daughter were living with us. They moved out this past weekend. I thought I'd be getting a ton of stuff done. I did I've, I've been doing quite a bit but for me I've just been in a rut. I think this whole all of our extra money is going to pay off debt. I'm trying to get it paid off as quickly as possible and I'm just in that what people call the debt payoff fatigue. I'm not gonna give up but as it's just I'm just exhausted with it, but we're doing good. I'm not going to give up. I just need to get back into my habits and my routines of trying to stay really motivated because I really want this stuff paid off. So anyways, $930, one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six fifty-seven, seven fifty, eight hundred, nine hundred, six hundred, six fifty, seven, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight ten, eight thirty, eight fifty, eight seventy, eight ninety. 900, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 9, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So, and I wanted to get these done because I stuff it and then for the bills that are due next week, I pull it out of here and this week I didn't have a whole lot due that comes from me, but then next week I have a ton. So a lot of these are going to be emptied next week. So I want to get this out and get it back to the bank. My mortgage gets 200 a week and then my husband pays the difference. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. My timeshare, I'm doing a hundred this time. Our gas and electric bill is going to get I think I was doing 80 a week, but I need 96, and then this will be paid as soon as I get it back to the bank. So that's 50, 70, 90, 95, and 96. Let's see here. How's everybody's week going? My boys have been on spring break, so my husband's been home with them, so 
it's just been wild here too so I just feel like I just need a break <laughs> but my son turns today's Wednesday this will be up Thursday the today's the 15th so it'll be up on the 16th my son turned six on the 22nd so we've been trying to plan for a little birthday party I'm just getting excited I took the day off he wants me to come to his class he's in kindergarten he wants me to come to his class and read a book to the class because that's what his friends parents have done so I said how about we just do it on your birthday it's on a Wednesday so I ended up taking that day off in the morning I will be at his school and then the second half of the day is kind of a me day so maybe that's when I can finally get my little reset that I need to just get my stuff done that I normally do Gas and electric, 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 40, 45, 50, 56. And that is exactly what I need. So that will come out. My student loan will come out. This should be 120 after I... Or did I skip it? Did I not budget? 50, 70. Interesting. I didn't put it on here, so I'm just going to have to make up for it. <laughs> All right. Water gets 28, and then this should be the rest of what I need. 25, 26, 27, and 28. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, and 73. It was a little bit higher than that, but I still had some left on a, I think it was like a MasterCard gift card that I used, and I did pay that. So that's what I have left that I owe on it. My husband's truck is getting 100. And then this is due next week. This should be 400. Yes. So this is due next week. So this will be out of here. Verizon gets 50. So that now has 150. Garbage gets five. So this will have 15. Preschool, this bill came in. It's 354 a month. I'm putting 100 in. I just got the bill for January and February, but I sent those off, so I need to go back and look on that. I'm kind of confused on why I got that bill again, as if I didn't pay it, but I know I did. 100, 200, 300, and 400. And I know the check cleared my bank too, so I'm really confused. But anyways, I have to look into that, and then I owe, what are we in, March? I think I owe March still, but I don't think I have that bill yet. I need to call them, but they're on spring break this week, so I will call them next week. But that may be gone also. <clears throat> this is my debt binder. I am currently working on my chase card. Today I did do week three. I paid 184.62. That is going towards my tracker and then 100 in, in, towards interest. But even though when I pay it, they don't separate it like that. But in my mind, that's how it's working. I did put last week when I finished the jar savings at 26 week savings challenge, I did pay, I don't remember what it was, but. I end up with 703 and then the 675, I did pay all that towards that card already and it has already cleared. I did that last week. So all I have left is one more week of paying 284.62 and then I should finish the March savings challenge next week. That will be 760, that will go towards it. And I figured, I think I will still have about $150 that was interest to pay on it. So I do not have to stuff this. And then I did pay 100 in interest towards my American Express. Nothing is going to go towards the tracker that I keep track of it here or my my big overall credit card debt tracker, but it did go towards the monthly minimum payment for this month. So, so my end of the month tally may not be as high because I go off of these totals and I haven't been putting it on here because it's interest and I haven't been accounting for that, I guess I should say. So my synchrony card gets 40, so this will have 80. Capital One. Which one was it? That one I'm not paying, so 
gets confusing when I have two and I don't distinguish on here which one it is. My loan is getting 175, 150, 170, and five. And then it's this capital one is getting 36. So that is 20, 30, five and 36. And I don't think this one's due next week either. I can't remember because clearly my notes are off because I did not budget for my student loan, which I find interesting. Anyways, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 105 and I I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a week, guys. I'm so sorry. Kind of crazy week. All right. Well, apparently I just reached my goal and I'm just sitting here, so I don't know how I have been moving. <laughs> Anyways, that is all that I have for today. If you've made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully, I will be able to get out a sinking funds video, but like I said, I need to see the video, to, or I need to see my husband's bank account tomorrow to see how that's going to go or if my money needs to go over to <laughs> his account, even though I say my money, his money. We have separate bank accounts. That's how we keep it straight, but that is all I have for today. Thank you so much. Until the next video. Bye.